April Justin has been through this recruiting process before. But I'm going to go roll tie roll. Ooh, Alabama. I feel this LSU is a better place for him to be. LSU Tigers, number one. Go Tigers. Two years later, again at the Under Armour All-American game with another son, Gerald Willis III. I will take my talent to Gainesville, Florida. Florida Gibbs. Any easier this time? Yeah, but LSU is still number one. <laughs> so on National Signing Day at Sonic Boom Training Facility, a chance to sit down with both mother and son. What's it been like for you? You know, it's just been, it's been fun. There's been some bad times. You know, it's just been rough, you know, since my freshman year. That everybody coming at me from all different other kind, you know, the, the country and the states. And it's just the coaches and stuff, you know, I, I appreciate all the, all the, you know, the offers and stuff. But, you know, everything, I'm just happy signing day here, so everything is finally over. I'm glad it's over with. I enjoyed every bit of it, but it does get hectic at the end. You know, they come at you, they give you phone calls. It's just left and right, left and right, you know, just constantly call, constantly. And, and the same thing, you, you hear the same thing, what more What more we could talk about, but I enjoyed it and I wouldn't, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's a blessing. When did you actually make it for sure? And when did you tell your mom and how did that go? Um, when I actually made my decision was in the, um, in the locker room at the All-American game. I had talked to my brother. And after I talked to my brother, I called my mom, talked to my mom, then I made my decision on TV. He flipped about three times that morning, okay? So, but I know where his heart was at, and I didn't want him to choose it because how his mom wanted him to stay home. So what I told him is no matter where decision you make, I'm going to be right behind you. As for his trainer, Wyatt Harris, yet another perspective on Willis III. Joel is a guy, I always say this, and I, by any athlete, like even with Junior Gallette, I love the fact that you don't have to tell him to sick, you got to tell him to woe. So, you know, you love those guys there, you know, you have to poke Gerald Cage. I mean, at this uh, the stability for him, his speed to power is, is something that nobody never seen. And now he's understanding what he can do, how to play. I see myself as a DN, you know, by going to the weight room and work hard and get my body right and don't, you know, gain that much weight. I see myself as a DN. He said that, and once he go off in six months, I'm not going to know who he is because his body going to be so strong and huge. <laughs> so I ain't going to be able to <laughs> wrestle with them no more. I could barely <laughs> wrestle with Landon, but that's all right. I'll get him one day. <laughs> Final question, look right in that camera, and you tell Florida Gator Nation what they're getting with Gerald Willis III. Man, y'all getting beast mode, diamond, you know, I'm coming off that ball, I'm coming, I'm coming, you know, it's Gator Nation, you know, I'm bringing, I'm bringing to all of the games, bro. I'm coming, y'all come.